Rain. Oh, hey, Cookie. Hey, Aunt Floyd, have you seen Grover? Uh, no, he's not here. Oh, maybe at the bar. No, no, he's not there either. Where he at? He said he had some business with Sandy. Oh, uh, too bad. Me wanted to have a sing-along. Well, I'll have a sing-along with you. You will? Yeah, come on down to the old trash can. All right, me right in. If Moon was cookie, me think me would be happiest monster. Well, according to Sandy's text messages, she lives right around here. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy! I'm over here. Oh. Glad you made it, Grover. You're ready for your tests? Yes, I'm ready to train to be the first monster on the moon. All right, well, I've been assigned by Masa, the Monster Air and Space Agency, to give you five important tests to make sure you're ready to go to the moon. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, then. Let's go. Follow me. Okay. Okay, Grover. First up is the gravity test. The gravity test? Yes, I want you to jump as high as it can, stay in the air for a long time. Okay, if you say so. Okay, let me give a position. Give me legs. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, very good. What do you mean good? Brr. I came right back down. Does it gravity mean you float? Well, yeah, that's true. But like, they wanted me to test you how far you can go up. You did pretty good. You passed the first test. Oh, good. Yeah, follow me for the second part. Okay. Sandy, why am I up in this tree? Well, the next part of your test is to see if you can prepare for the roughness of space. So you're going to sit up in that tree, and Mr. Moose here is going to bump into that tree. And you got to try not to fall out of the tree. Okay. All right, Mr. Moose, do your thing. Okay, squirrel lady. Squirrel lady. Oh yeah, hold on. Good job, Grover. You passed the second test. Oh good. Now can I come down? Yeah, I'll be out there to help you. Uh, Mr. Moose, you okay? Uh, yeah, I just out of energy. Well, thank you for your um, con contribution. Well, thank you for your part in this um, project. Oh, well, you're welcome. Well, now if you'll excuse me, I need to rest. Well, uh... You'll be okay. Okay, Grover, now the mass of people want me to check to see if you can do a good moonwalk. Oh, I can do the moonwalk? <laughs> no, not the dance move. Like, like, it means like walk slowly. Oh, like, um, like this? No, 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 not like that. You know, there's less gravity on the moon, so you gotta practice walking slower. Slower, huh? I think I can do that. Let me try. Like this? Very good. A little more. Like, just like walk off the camera. Good. Very good. There you go, Grover. Oh, thank you. Now, next test. Okay. Oh, stop it. Sorry. Sandy, why am I upside down? Well, because in space, you got to, you're going to be able to go upside down and sideways with a low gravity. So the mass of people want me to have you hang upside down for a bit. I'm going to go take a little squirrel nap, and I'll be back in a few minutes to check up on you. See how you hold up. I hope the blood doesn't wash the rest of your head. Wait, what? One hour later. <laughs> Ooh, what a good nap. How long has it been? Let's see. <gasps> An hour! Holy crap! Grover! <laughs> Grover! <laughs> well, you didn't pass out, so I, I guess you passed. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not gonna hear the end of this. I can't believe you didn't pay in the first hour. I'm sorry, I got tired, okay? All right, What's, is this my last test? Yes, this is the final test. And then I'll calculate the results. Oh, good. What's my last test? Well, a good astronaut has to identify good and bad rocks. Because astronauts collect moon rocks so they can study them. 
So I got some rocks here and you gotta find the good ones out of the bad ones. Okay, I think I can do that. Good luck. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm, which ones are good? What? This one's good. And, um, oh, I think this one's good. Yeah, this is a nice pretty one. There's so many bugs around here. And, oh, there's a nice one. Oh, uh, no, 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 that, that's not one. Um, oh, there's one. I, I, there's one right there. All right, good job, Grover. Now, I'll be right back. I gotta calculate the results of your tests. Oh, I hope I passed. One hour later. Grover! <laughs> what happened? Well, Grover, there's no easy way to say it. Oh, no. But you passed! I passed! Yes, congratulations. You're gonna be the first monster on the moon. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Now, um, you better go get some rest and uh, prepare for June. That's when you're going to blast off to the moon. Uh, okay, thank you, Sandy. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> I'm past. I'm going to be on the moon. Just think. In a month, Grover will be the first monster on the moon. Hey, so when am I going to get the check you promised me? Later. I was pretty exhausting, <sighs> but it's all over. Now I can rest. Uh, there he is! Come on, come on, come on over there! Come on, he's over there! Come on! We're going away, Grover, Grover. We were down at the bar, and I was tuning up the radio to my favorite podcast, all about bananas. And we heard that Grover from Sesame Street. It's going to be the first monster to go to the moon. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. This is so exciting. Man, Grover, I wish I was in your furry shoes or whatever. Heck, you wear. Uh, Grover, congratulations. Uh, well, thank you. I tell you, the tests were not easy. I had to be hung upside down, shaken in a tree. But it was worth it. And Grover, you are going to make monster history when you walk up to the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, do me a favor. Taste it and see if it's a cookie, will you? Um, I don't think that's how it works. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm a scientist. So I'm gonna double on that. You don't know that. You don't know that. I just said I'm a scientist. <sighs> so, Mr. Grover, when is this moon launch? Oh, it's um in June. Oh, so we got a month before you blast off into space, huh? Yeah, I, hey, hey, how about you come to Christy Crab and promote your lunch? It'll promote big money. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, this is Grover's moment. Don't abuse him for money. Fine, have it your way. Yeah. Oh, boy, Grover, you must be really looking forward to this. I am, um, but I just have one little favor from us for all of you. What is it? I had a long day. Can I please rest? Oh, oh, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, everyone. Let's see if our future astronaut alone so you can take a nap after his long day. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah come on, wait up. Yeah, well, I'll come with you. Yeah, uh, Grover, you're going to be a monster hero. <laughs> yeah, a hero. A hero. I leave my phone here. Uh, Grover? Grover, what, 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 what? what? You okay there? I'm just thinking about stuff. About the moon trip? Yeah, it's just... Soon I'll be up in the stars. I'll be on the moon. And I don't know. I'm just feeling... Feeling... What? Feeling scared? Yes. Nervous? And um, excited? I know. There's something like this. It's like so exciting, but just think, just think, you will make monster history as no other monsters have crossed the moon. You'll see all the planets, the moons and the stars. You, my friend, will be able to see other alien life forms and satellites. Are there aliens in space? I can't be sure, but maybe you'll come across Marvin the Martian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just think, Grover, you, my friend, will be a monster hero. I guess you're right, Dominic. Oh, I'm really even looking forward to this. I can't wait. Yes, now I'll leave you alone so you can nap.
Uh, good luck. A hero. I'll make monster history. After a nap. Subscribe!